Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit today about my uh, attack wood gasification boiler and over overheat protection. So I think I've in previous videos I've mentioned my battery backup system, which is a pure sign inverter with uh, built-in transfer switch and uh, charger. But that pretty much takes care of power failures. But what if a circulator would fail in the middle of a run? Uh, you would no longer transfer heat to, to your storage or to your load and potentially could overheat the boiler. So most European boilers have the overheat protection loop built into the boiler. That's what these two connections are. And the way it works is you use a Watts STS20. Uh, it's a thermostatically controlled valve. It requires no power. The way it works is there's a sensing element, copper tubes in here, that uh, are routed into a port in the boiler where you install a thermal well. It's basically right under here. And uh, so it requires no power to operate the valve. Uh, what it does is when the temperature hits 97 degrees Celsius, close to boiling, this valve will open and allow cold domestic water, which is piped here, to flow through this cooling coil and, and out. And the, the other side just goes to drain, or in my case, out the back of the building. So this, between the battery backup and, and this little protection valve, we pretty much have covered all the instances where uh, power failure, circulator pump failure, uh, things that could cause an overheat situation and possible damage to your boiler if you don't have these uh, protection measures installed. And that's it.